I'm going to talk about abortions. And because it's such a contentious subject and the left have got rather dangerous and potentially violent, I'd rather stay rather anonymous on this issue that is rather sensitive to many people. I understand why the subject of abortion is sensitive. And my own opinion, my own understanding, and other belief system as such, is that I'm totally against abortions. I'm totally against men causing women to need to have them. But I'm also against women being irresponsible and allowing men to cause them to need to have an abortion. Me, I do not. I understood this as a young man, as a before I ventured into sexual activity. I realised I never want to be responsible for a woman getting pregnant when it wasn't planned. And I don't understand in this day and age when there's plenty of contraception available. There's the pill, and there's condoms. And then the simple methods of avoiding pregnancy are still enjoying sex. This is not about not enjoying sex, it's just about enhancing the beauty and quality of sex if you think about it. But if you think about it for two minutes, the thought of causing an abortion, or the thought of having an abortion, and the aftermath, the psychological and emotional aftermath of the abortion must take away from the quality of the sex. It must make that I'm not, it can't, I don't, I'm not a woman, but nonetheless I'm a human, and human, and surely women are humans equal to men in that respect, and surely that's why women uh, demand equality because they're human, the same as men. So I can suggest that I can feel, a woman may feel, if I had aborted a child, and even I've been a man in a relationship that I caused the need to have a child aborted, even then I'd be extremely emotionally distressed for a very, very long time in my life for doing such a thing, I would think I'd actually done really something extremely wrong to abort an unborn baby or an unborn human, another being. Because although these other beings are not are our children, at the same time they're an individual that will grow up to be a sovereign individual with an equal potential and equal rights to all other humans on earth, no matter where they are, what their status is. Well, that's another point, that's a bit of philosophy. But it's the point of abortions that, I know there's a push right now for, to make it easy and easy for women to have an abortion. So it's best to declare why that is the case. The reason to the left, where the ideas and correct ideas from the left are generated from, is not from the political hierarchy of universities or the general public or some one tweeting from a bedroom or something. It comes from some central planning agency and these committees, the higher echelons of the upper world, if you will. The ones that live apart from the rest of the human race because they're more powerful and the most influential of all. These people have made the decision and after, after making the observation about all the single, the result of so many single parents, which is so many offspring, boys and girls, without fathers and mothers in a traditional, consolidated, unreasonably conservative. Relationship, I don't mean politically conservative, but conservative 
in family values. Conservative family values is totally different to conservative in the political sense because in the old fashioned sense socialist people were just as conservative in their family values as they anyone on earth, no matter what political view they have. And then you just sort of cruise on through history and say the miners of Wales would assure everyone the conservatism of the family was a foundation of that society. So it's with most traditional societies left all line of politics. So that's a different view on that idea in itself. But the the people there are people there behind the scenes somewhere, the upper echelons, the most powerful, the most influential. Who can see the disaster it has been for the last few decades where there have been so many single males, especially, that, that then become a serious cost problem for society for the amount of people that end up in jail and doing crimes. I'm not saying this is just a general, but it is an actual, statistical, provable, noble, confirmable, confirmable fact based on evidence. Evidence anyone can clearly go and discover and find out for themselves. That cannot actually be denied. So therefore one could say the evidence is scientifically verified and therefore a scientific fact that has been dealt with rationally and logically by people in positions who can then distribute this as information and it becomes a pretty correct mem within the sort of the, the sort of minds and the emotions of the left or within the media and, uh, and within the universes and within politics. That basically sort of explains that. And that's the idea really. The, if you imagine America or Britain or Australia or any of these places, what have allowed, what there has been a great blossom, if you like, in single parent families and their catastrophic social results and disorders and crime and drugs and all the things and this misbehaviour and poor examples of parenthood that have resulted in a sort of a chaotic and certainly a disaffected society amongst those who are the result and victims of single parent uh, childhood. So I'm suspecting that the sudden push or the the need or whatever it is that is uh, allowing women to switch off their conscience and say I'm going to divorce, abort this baby right up to when it's born almost is given that, that in the emotional flux, the emotional feel that exists within which is a political correctness, it creates emotional feel, the unified emotional feel amongst the class of people you, that then allows them to say well it's okay because everyone says it's okay so they say they, they don't therefore get into too deeply intellectually or into the conscience or spirituality of everything or the, the soul of their purpose or their being they say well everyone's saying it's okay so it's okay and they're going along with it and then these babies are being aborted rather than being born into a world, especially Western world, was getting rather. Uh, there's all sorts of many other things going on about the employment in future being made redundant because of AI and robots, and all those things are coming in to consideration in this idea, in this recent idea that the left are involved with is increasing the availability of abortions and basically encouraging people to have them by saying well it's politically correct to do so and they're rubbishing people who say well you're telling women what to do with their bodies if you're against abortion. No, I would never and most people are not telling women what to do with their bodies. They can do what they like with their bodies. That's up to them. But it's rather irresponsible to spread your legs. 
and then with when they're drunk or stoned or whatever it is to any man that comes along that you know prefer to marry or stay with and basically take the risk of having, having getting pregnant and then having to suffer and causing the being inside to suffer the death the agonizing excruciating death what abortion is that little feeling inside they've all got nerves and they're all there might not be thinking about what's happening to them but they're feeling it and certainly this must cause some sort of I don't know what happens to women who have abortions or two or three abortions I think it may be hardens their soul and causes them to be some hardened feminists or whatever it is in them what makes them sort of it change, must change their being and maybe they are not, not care anymore who knows I'm not a judge of that I don't know that, but that does need to be properly investigated because that might also be a significant thing to learn about so we can understand the consequences of mass abortion of thousands and millions of unborn babies and something needs to be considered but that basically in a nutshell is why this being a the uh, encouragement, if you like, to have been popular, a popular thing to do, have an abortion, rather than it being popular to say, hang on, don't have sex if it's going to cause the need to have an abortion. And there are men who cause the need, who do this, or have got to get the end off, so they cause an abortion, or cause women to get pregnant without any conscience. It's my feeling my strong if you like the justice of this would be that they were there when the abortion was happening and they had to handle the baby that had been aborted and they had to pay for the abortion and that would be sort of if you like Genghis Khan's sort of a justice which I sort of think is rather appropriate in this case if you're going to cause a death of an unborn, unborn human, then maybe, because you've brought it into being, then maybe you ought to be there and responsible and man enough. Man, man enough to cause a pregnancy and show what a man you are, or they are, but not man enough to be there at abortion, abortion um, and abort the baby and, and deal with the aborted baby. It shows it's maybe a lack of man a lack of chivalry in the first place was caused the need for this abortion. So this is not an attack on women, although it's suggesting to women, for goodness sake, there's a pill and there's condoms. You can say no. You can say no. The word no is not a big one and not hard to learn. I haven't got contraception, you haven't got a condom, it's no, go buy a condom, they're not expensive, they're easy to use, or are the men causing these pregnancies to sort of simple account for a condom, well, I don't know, but anyway, that's my take on abortions, it's a very sad thing to put, but there you go.